Scott says the city of El Paso could lose more than $21 million in reimbursements. It's not claiming. But the city says that number is wrong, and El Paso should only be reimbursed about $9 million for certain projects. The story is developing now with ABC 7's Darren Hunt. Rick and Estelle, the city is calling it a reporting error, but TxDOT officials say the amount of money is not the issue. It's the city isn't invoicing TxDOT on a regular basis. We very recently became aware that uh, a report had been generated and put out by TxDOT uh, representing uh, city projects and how much had been billed and how much was left to be billed. That report claimed 10 city transportation projects totaling more than $28 million had more than $21 million outstanding. Among the biggest were the $14.7 million Country Club Road Project and the $4.1 million Mesa Rapid Transit Project. So we got to looking at the, the schedule itself and found out that uh, in some cases they were using just construction monies and sometimes it was construction plus the city match and so it was just a mixture that needed to be sorted out. TxDOT District Engineer Bob Bielik says the numbers TxDOT has are estimates before the project went under construction. He says the city numbers are based on what they actually paid contractors and the difference is not the real issue. It's that the city has not been invoicing TxDOT regularly on a timely basis for reimbursements. If we were getting regular invoices we know what they paid. We have not been getting regular invoices. In order to remedy this situation, City Manager Tommy Gonzalez has added to the duties of the Airport Aviation Director. Monica Lombrania will now also serve as Director of the City's Capital Improvements Department. We certainly know that we need to make improvements in terms of how we're utilizing our resources, including our personnel, <clears throat> and in overseeing the projects to make sure that the projects are getting completed on time and on budget. Felix said TxDOT will now ask for documentation every month to better keep track. He added TxDOT will get with city employees to better explain the requirements going forward. Rick and Estelle. Darren Hunt live tonight in our newsroom. Thank you very much. And this debate continues Sunday night at 1035 on ABC 7 Extra. The Director of City Development, Matthew McElroy, and District 6 City Rep, Claudio Daz, join our Maria Garcia to talk about the road funding issues right here in El Paso. Rick, the Children's Hospital.